I couldn't have asked for a better quarterbacking group in the CFL to learn from than you know, quarterback coach and offensive coordinator Marcus Crandall, guy won two carry cups as a quarterback, and a uh, guy like Ricky Ray, you know, an all-star and outstanding player. To learn from guys like him, you know, Kerry Joseph, out, most outstanding player in the league, you know, those guys, uh, those guys have a wealth of knowledge. I tried to learn at least one thing every day, and I thought if you know if I learned one thing every day, it'd be it'd be worth the experience. <laughs> And uh, I learned tons of things every day, you know, it's how to work out, how to watch film, how to treat my body. A guy like Ricky Ray, you know, he, uh, he does everything right, you know, he, and he, he, you see him and you think he's, you know, a quiet guy, but he's, you know, he's a real good guy and he treated me well. His grandfather was a great, all-time great, of course. Um, I played under him when I was here. And it's, it's tough shoes to feel, it's tough shoes to feel. He was a great head coach, great player, great leader, and I know he instilled some of those things into his grandson. He's been uh, fairly quiet in the meeting so far, but uh, he has shown that he's a very intelligent young guy. I'm glad to have him here. He was the defensive coordinator in Hamilton when my grandpa was the GM and then took over as head coach halfway through a year. And uh, I used to play basketball with Cavus. He was my basketball partner when we were down there. We'd play. Uh, assistant guys in the, in the front office there and me and Cavus would win obviously but uh, the reason they're doing so well is they're prepared for everything they don't go into any games and they don't see anything that they've never seen before you know we were day two of practice day two of rookie camp we were doing red zone and hurry up drills and uh, situations you know how many plays you can get off in eight seconds how many plays you can get off in nine seconds that stuff is is unbelievably good for a football team and uh, hopefully I can bring some of that stuff here and we can do those things because you don't want to go into a game and do something you've never done in practice and uh, it makes a big difference. I think the goal from the top down is to win the Vanier Cup. I think this is the year, you know, a lot of returning guys, 19 or 20 returning starters. No, three years, it's too far to go back. Since you came, man. Why you want us to stop? Hips forward. Those were the days when Doss was very quiet. I think the attitudes, you know, we're here to win, and then whatever it takes for us to do that, you know, if we got to put up 40 points, you know, we'll do that. If we got to be a ball control team and put up 18, you know, we'll, we'll do that. I thought you were going to badmouth anybody. Just you, I can badmouth you. How's it feel, Mary? Yeah? Better knock it down, Oli. But uh, whatever it takes to win, I think we had a great offseason, you know, 35, 40 guys at offseason workouts, guys from out of town staying here at all off season with the team and uh, not, uh, not even the working out is the most important part. The most important part was just being together and uh, I think that shows on and off the field and that'll definitely show on Fridays and Friday nights. I think it is, isn't it? No one could spend this much straight time with Frank other than him. They have any questions of me and they want to watch film, I'll always, I'll always watch film with them. I, I, I spend a lot of time, you know, I learned from, you know, Bernie, you know, I spent a lot of time with Bernie when I first committed here. I came here, you know, once or twice a week when I was still in high school and then I've watched film with him. Even in the off season, once or twice a week, I come in here and watch game film, not only of the other team's defense, but self-scout. Hey. Again, hey, Mark. You know, help those guys out because I'm done now. This is it for me and, you know, to keep the Ram quarterbacking legacy, continue it, you know, it's excellence. Hook worm. I don't even know where you are, but I'm looking at the map.
whatever they do, they're probably wrong. Yeah. They play cut coverage, whichever side they play cut coverage, maybe because of the sun. Okay, let's go. Left half. Like Our receiving core, you know, we got some guys banged up now, but, you know, we have unbelievable depth at uh, receiver. We can go. I said before training camp that we can go two deep at uh, all five receiver spots, but I think, you know, at some of them we can go three. Those guys would start on a lot of other teams, and they, they have to scrap with each other for that, for the, you know, for the uh, last spot there. You know, in, four, in three years, you look and go, wow, there's, there's another one at a, at a receiver. You. <laughs> yes, Magnum P.I. You know, when you're in your second and third year, you, you, you look and go, wow, you know, this is a grind. But I'm in my fifth year now, and uh, I'm going to look back a year from now, and I go, man, man, I wish I was at practice, or man, I wish I could go through two days. I wish I was stiff today kind of deal, because, you know, I'm going to be just some local slapdick kind of guy doing nothing around here. And It's been there my whole life. I don't really know any difference, you know. And when I was in high school, and you know, I'd get an article or whatever, they'd say, "Ah, oh, I mean, the only reason anyone thinks he's good is because of his family, you know, lineage." But uh, you know, I had to, you know, I had to, you know, work hard and prove those guys wrong that I actually know that I could play. And I think, uh, you know, with my time here with the Rams, you know, they didn't, you know, they didn't bring me here because of, you know, my grandpa. You know, I, they brought me here because they thought I could play and they believed in me. And uh, you know, hopefully, I've returned their investment a bit here, and hopefully, I can return to play winning the Vanier Cup. But uh, it was just something I had to get used to, and you know, there's always going to be the comparisons. And if I'm going to be compared to my grandpa, I'm not sure I could pick a better guy to be compared to. I won't let you choke on the noose around your neck, and I'll find strength in pain, and I will change my ways. I'll know my name as it's cold again.